Hello, I'm Craig Jacob Brown, and I'm going to show you a few things about the gestures and stance of each of the Commedia dell'arte characters. Now, first we'll begin by reading the masks. Now, each of the masks are a little more than just what you appear to see. First, let's look at the nose on the mask. If it's big, the character, it pushes that character's focus forward and it gives them attitude. Now, it may make them more extroverted or arrogant or even simply unintelligent. But if the nose is small, the character is more introverted, self-conscious. They might even be a little more thoughtful. Now let's look at the eyes. Now, if the eyes are big, the character is going to be able to have a bigger world vision. They're going to be able to see things outside of themselves. If their eyes are small, they may not think about much outside of themselves at all. You know, a lot more self-conscious. Now let's look at the weight and shape of all the other features. Is the weight of the shapes high on the mask or low or central or out to the sides? And are the shapes angled or round or are they complex or simple? The weight and shapes translate to the body. Finally, let's look at the lines of the mask. If the lines go down from the mask, the center of the mask, that's where the appendages can go. If the lines go up from the center of the mask, that's where your gestures go. Now, the straight lines can be reflected in the body as curved lines can also be seen. <laughs> here by a slave driving slave driver to be slaved. But now I'm uh, not going to let it bring me down. These big curves at the top of my head, they're like the ideas that I can come up with in a lickety split jiffy. And I get out of everything I need to, like a monkey or a cat. I'm going to try to help you get what you want. Somehow. They can't just pull the wool over my eyes. I have really big ones that are always alert. No, can't do it. The psychology, I have big eyes, so eyes think a lot. So, my little gestures like this are thinking about things, and anything I can show that makes me have a new idea, especially if it's going to be a really good one. <laughs> you know, those lines I can use, my weight is up, and the shapes are kind of round and fluid. Maybe I'll have an idea for you. I <laughs> Now, I like it everyone's got their hands in the air. Now, you might think I'm trying to be all vertical, but I'm not. I'm trying to be up. I have an upturned nose. I have an upturned lip. I have all the lines on my face completely upturned. And I'm going to come a little closer over to our designers here because they are the stars of this show. <laughs> We're doing this for you. You can see every single line on my face, and you can see every single upturn feature. And that should show you, I can keep, if I keep my body low, my gestures, and each one of my appendages shows you up. Simple as that, you guys did it, don't you, huh? They're great. <laughs> they figured it all out, and now we're Oh, I'm seeing everyone being fairly fluid, as are the lines of the face. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I love to love women. <laughs>
<laughs> so what? Who cares? No matter, you're like a cat, I'm more like a dog. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, I could be loyal and devoted and a little anxious, especially if you're not the kind of person who's loyal and you get anxious too. So, um, well, you know, I'll be a good friend to you if you kind of are loyal to me. <laughs> You guys, we're all the same. We all got, you know, some nice curves. We're human. We all got some nice moves. You know, we're movers. Hey, and you all are good animals. I mean, the Italian mega fauna. Because he is a she. I just need a minute here. So what? So I started up in the mountains, and now I'm down here in the valley. You guys are all good animals. The megafauna of Italy. We're all Italian. Ha <laughs> ha. You know? So look. I don't want you to call me an ass. <laughs> I have the big eyes, so I can share with you all. But I have the big nose, which tends to, well, at least in the Commedia, but probably even in No and Kyokin, you have a big nose and you become less intelligent. So I'm not the brightest light bulb in the room. But I am quite fluid and uh, possibly even a little, uh, you know, observant of human nature if that's what my eyes are going to give me. Some kind of interpretation of what's going on. It's fluid. I'm Pulcinella. Pulcinella is the true cynic. He sees people. You guys probably know, uh, but let's just say, what do you think I'm motivated by? What am I, huh? Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> now, what animal would make that kind of, you know?
replace our modern colloquial. I mean, who's going to be saying stuff like that? Bugs Bunny? Yeah, yeah right. Okay. Yeah. He says, uh, oh, so you're on a rabbit hunt. Huh. I should have thought the big gun. Anyway. So, okay, yeah, or Jerry Seinfeld, or all those guys, you know, they kind of slowly get all, you know, liquid on us. <laughs> Everything you want in Venice, I get for you. So, we will go out looking for something low down. I feel his presence. Okay? I am Pantaloni! <laughs> and those wings sometimes bring me out and back in. Just like the bird I would choose, maybe a chicken, and then it may be a crow, but it's definitely something that's going to scream at the top of my lungs. <laughs> is a catch. There is someone here, not from Italy. <laughs> they came from Spain on a ship all the way across. Ha <laughs> ha! It is I, because I came with flair, with big steps, with a big voice, with a big smell. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> like a horse! I think the sailor, uh, the skipper, is much less of a capitano. Who? Capitano, of course, is big about everything. You know what I have a big nose, a big mouth, big eyes, big forehead. Everything about me is big. Some of it up, some of it out, some of it down. Everything is big, and because the nose is big, it's not such a big intelligence. However, I make myself appear to be intelligent just because I'm big. This is something to remember, even when doing the Japanese style. When you get bigger, it may be more exaggerated, but it tends to be a shallower individual. Okay? I? Need a wife! Ha ha! It matters not what was there before me. It matters not how I come across as... This is actually a catching implement. Did you know that? Someone 
who is invisible? <laughs> I must advise. My eyelids are like convex domes at the top of my head, but they look concave if you are looking up, as if there are large ideas in your head, like the concave domes of your eyelids. <laughs> yes, yes. Now I'm seeing some movement. That's yes, very good. Come here. Of course, we want to see that movement. See, only here there's very little. But, um, it does have to move about. And, uh, now, speaking of Gilligan's Islands, where would we find such a character in that program, Professor? No, 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 the rich guy. Ah, yes, I would accept both of those answers. Beep, 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 Yeah, that's the thing. Ah, uh, indeed. Professor, maybe, uh, when he's on one of his spiels, but since he's such a hunk, he also plays the ingenue sometimes. But Mr. Howell, he gets to be kind of like that uh, Marco Pepe. Ah, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I am, uh, uh, but I am going to add one more. The rooster. Oh, 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 the rooster. <laughs> yes. And the point is there is a certain rooster that the rooster might give, other birds might not give, but one thing we all do is gesticulate wildly and wonderfully with our wings, our hearts, <laughs> usually with a, and I know exactly what you guys are thinking. Ah, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I say <laughs> Trying to be straightforward. Can we have a little respect for some of us who are straightforward? Okay. I'm the heart of Italy, from the city, from the town. Huh? I don't think so. Well then, how do you explain that? You play the zani because you choose the mess because you feel comfortable doing the up moves, the angles, you know. I'm gonna do angles. Now I'm not gonna look at you guys. I'm gonna have to look at you close if I'm gonna look at you at all because I don't have the big eyes. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time looking at you either because I've got issues. I got things I want to talk about that are about me. Most of my life, a lot of, a lot of movements from here out. But I don't come over and look at you and talk to you. I come close and my eyes are small. I've got stuff going on inside me, which I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about big issues. And I don't see very far, like, that Scapino, that sharp nosed guy. Or that Arlecchino, that. Not me. I have important things right here and now in me going on. And when your eyes are kind of closed off, and when the eyelids keep you back behind something that talks about introversion, don't you think? I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, um, I, I, uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't know where I am. I don't know, know where I came from because, well, I, I do have a mirror and it does show me the top of my head has two big concave circles even here, and 
My body is concave here and here. So I'm kind of turned concave here in my body and here in my head. Oh, oh me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, from, and the cart, cart, if you were going to watch on Saturday morning and, 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 you know, those little guys that don't get all their, like, the, the big guy who has no way of, he would be my. <laughs> Sometimes the other characters creep in. And that's because I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> and I'm probably the guy most willing to admit it. Hmm. No spine, no substance, nothing. Oh, God, it's my burden. I'm a beast of burden. Cow. Cow. Uh. Uh. Well, yeah, because... 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 I think... I'm gonna die. <laughs> If I could get any lower, I would be so down, like a pancake, like a puddle, nothing melting further from reality. Melting? I can't handle this. Heavy, the lines down from the center. Not so horizontal, but definitely. And I am Pierre, the eternal, tragic character. My gestures move from looking to the sky and looking back down, wondering why me stuck here. There's a psychology of yin. I might also be. What animal? A koala. A koala. <laughs> because of the... Because of the lethargic movement. <laughs> lethargic big move. Yes, that's the only way. To be deeply, emotionally sorrowful. Get your arms down, you look up into the sky, your, maybe your body, the center of weight is kind of up higher here. And you raise yourself to the, to the heaven, and you ask, why? So, not very often you meet someone like me. Someone who has real focus right at you and spends all that focus trying to make you look over there. How do you know that's him? Now, there are very important, again, I'm coming over here. There's one really important feature. The most important feature would be the nose. Yes. Gives me focus and makes my all of my gestures quite pointed. I'm not gonna do that saggy thing. <laughs> Does that look right to you? sharp and sarcastic about it. <laughs> because now let's get to the psychology behind sharp focus, huh? I don't like fatty! I'm a lot more forceful. 
it. And I'm a lot more conniving, and I'm not so fluid either. <laughs> I could have ideas that would put each and every one of you where you will. So, enjoy those masks.